Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank from GearCouch.com and on behalf of Positive Grid, I would like to talk a little bit about their latest product edition. It's called Bias FX for the desktop. Bias FX for the iPad has been out for some time. And now it's also available as a VST plugin for your Windows computer or for your Mac, which actually makes it the very first cross-platform AMS and EFX processor worldwide. It works with all major digital audio workstations, such as Ableton, Pro Tools, Cubase, Nuendo, Reaper and many many others. In the next couple of minutes I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with it and for this example, for this tutorial, we are going to use the latest version of Cubase Elements, which is actually the most basic and most affordable version of Cubase. Once you've installed BIOS effects on your computer, you can easily open it up in your digital audio workstation. In this case, we're using Cubase Elements and it's fairly easy to do that. You just add an audio track and then on the left-hand side, you choose BIOS FX as your insert. And there it opens up. And now you could, for example, browse through some of the factory presets, which are here. And there's something for every taste. There are some blue sounds going on. There's even an acoustic patch to simulate the sound of an acoustic guitar, even if you don't have one. And we also have something for the metal hats. If the provided factory presets are not enough for you, you can easily access a tone cloud. And here you will find a variety of tones and setups uploaded by other users. You can browse them by the latest or by the popular ones. You can also access one of the categories if you're looking for something specific, such as acoustic, alternative, bass, and so on. And once you've found a setup that might be actually the one you're looking for, you can also preview it in the standard setting before you download it. And on top of that, amps that have been matched with BIAS amp matching algorithm are also included in the tone cloud and you can also use them in BIAS FX. If you are familiar with applications like JamUp, you know that you normally have one signal path to work with an amplifier and several FX units. Now in BIAS FX, you can actually use two amplifiers at the same time. These can be complementary, but they can also be completely different. And not only that, you can also create two fully individual signal paths and mix them together. This opens up millions of possibilities for unique sounds. And not only can you use the amplifiers provided with BIAS FX, you can also choose one of the amplifiers that come with BIAS and then inside BIOS tune them to your own desire and re-import them back into BIOS FX and use them there. BIOS FX features two different view modes. The mode we are currently in is called the rack view. This is where you determine the signal path and you can add effects units and amplifiers. The second mode is called pedal view. This functions pretty much like if you had all the pedals in front of you on a board you can activate them, deactivate them, and do adjustments to their parameters. So here I've created a setup with two different amplifiers and some pedals included. And now I'm just going to upload it to the tone clouds. You just activate the tone sharing feature. You give the preset a name. In this case, I'm going to call it the dual Riffmeister. Then we're going to choose an appropriate category. In this case, we are going for metal. And then we can add a description to further explain a little bit what kind of tone I was going for, or maybe I could add the information which guitar I used. This gives users definitely more information about what you are going for and definitely helps them adjusting. And then we just upload it to the tone cloud. And that's done. And now I can easily download the preset I created to my iPad and use it wherever I want to go. Now to record a track in Cubase is fairly easy. You just have to activate the record button 
on the track and the monitoring button as well so you can actually hear what you're playing through. Now that all levels are set, you can simply hit the record button. Now, the biggest advantage when using a VST plugin such as Bias FX is the fact that you do not necessarily have to pay attention to the sound you're using when you're recording guitars. Because basically what you're recording is a DI track with the VST plugin applied to it. Listen to how it sounds if I just switch off the plugin. So it's a completely clean track and you're applying the sound afterwards. If I switch it on again... So you can change the sound of the guitar track at any time. You can change the amplifier. Let's say you want something different here. Let's just choose the plexiglass. So what you're doing here is pretty much an instant reamping of the guitar sound that you recorded. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how you can easily save your session. If you, for example, forgot to save the preset you've created in Bias FX, don't worry. All the settings are going to be saved within the project parameters. You just go to Save Under and then give it a name like bias effects demo for example and you save it and then you can without any worries close the project and close Cubase elements. Alright guys I hope I could give you a little insight on how easy it is to use bias effects inside the Cubase workstation. If you want more information on the application, simply visit the link that I put in the description for you below. And as always, if you want to see more reviews about guitar stuff, simply hit the subscribe button and you're going to get notified when something new is in the box. Until then, see ya!